Brian Bowles, Bolus, Bow, however you say that guy's name, he came out and said it. The Chesham Southern deserved that last win in our last matchup. And this time to schedule a fight. And you know what? I went ahead and. Actually, I don't know. I can have some rematches. All of these would be rematches, but we lost to Scott Georgian. 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 What can I say? It? Scott Jorgensen. Scott Jorgensen. Man, why is that such a hard name for me to say? I have no idea, but that was a struggle. That was an ugly struggle, but we got it. Here we go. So we get a shot at redemption. We've only had two losses, I believe. We're like 19 and 2. And this guy is one of those losses. He's fighting out of Boise, Idaho. And we've got another guy that beat us, but we'll rematch him when we get the opportunity. Just doing a quick auto train to show you guys where my attributes are at. I need to work out my standing strikes and my standing kicks a little bit more because those are slowly going down and down. And that's not good since we like to box. Alright, another training session. I think I might have finally noticed it. And I did. I decided to take this auto as well. Just to get my stand strikes up. And they don't move very much. But they moved up enough. To make me feel a little bit more confident in what's going on. Our strength's not very high either. 66 overall in strength. But I mean, that's a hard one to upgrade. Because it makes everything else go down. So I tend not to upgrade that one. But anyway, take a look at the pre-game. Pre-game. Pre-match screen. Take it on Scott Young Gun Jorgensen. In this match, it's a rematch. We got beat by this fool the last time we took him on. It's not something we want to go through again. It wasn't very much fun. And, you know, I mean, if we go out with a win here, that would be awesome. As you look at the loading screen here, I don't know why the loading screen is still in it, but it wasn't in there for very long. So here we go. This should be like a main event because he beat me and I've only lost twice. And I'm like, this will be like for my 20th win, I believe. So, I mean, yeah, we're getting up there and wins. Take a look at the tail of the tape. We've got most things at an advantage. Age is one for sure. The first one I saw. Kind of went through that really quickly. I think I was just excited to get this fight going. And here we go. I finally touched fists, but it, I was not expecting him to come out swinging as hard as he was. But it's just whatever, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I thought... I believe a few months ago, right before my school got out, I was like, you know, school's getting out, and I'm going to be able to upload videos every day of the week. It's going to be easy. Going to make so many videos. And I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And now school started again. And so my uploads, I think, will still be more frequent than they were during the summer vacation. But I'm going to be home pretty much every afternoon. And so I'm going to have all the time in the world to do this I guess as long as I have them edited ready to go because recorded the only, bad, the only downside to this is I'm tired all the time and <laughs> that's not very much fun so yeah just be ready for that I should be hitting us some more I should be putting up videos more frequently than I was before just because I'm not out doing something out till like 3 o'clock in the morning I'm actually home and I have like a schedule now and I can actually work this in so I mean there shouldn't be any more of those like two week at a time YouTube famines unless I just decide, you know, I need a break, <laughs> which I've done a few times during that summer vacation. I was like, you know, I'm going to take a little break. But yeah, so he just thought I'd throw that out there. Plus, I didn't know what to talk about during this video because sometimes when I'm talking about the UFC, I get a little bit repetitive because right here I'd be like, oh, he's throwing a combo, hit, good combo, take down, he got it, you know. And so sometimes it's different to mix things up, but now I'm gonna jump into the fight. And he did just take me down. And we're fighting up against the wall, trying to get out and up. We need to get out. I mean, Mr. Tattoo Man or Birthmark Man or fell in a bucket of bleach, man. I don't know what he did, but it looks kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. But with a minute left in the first round, it's pretty even. He's taking me down once, but we've been landing about the same amount of punches. So it's been fairly even. I mean, we both had our times where we've had like huge combos, times that we've been like, oh dear, we're gonna lose this fight. So I mean, it's gonna be, it's been good. And that can't those camera guys, we're getting some good shots because we're having a good fight here. Oh, I should, I got a nice jab to the face, but I'm rocked. I am rocked. Get the hands up and you got 10 seconds left. There, Chubbs, just stall it out. Stall it out like a wrestling match, man. You're tired, just stall it out and go back to the second round and you know finish it. You know, so it would be nice. So at the end of the first round, I think it was fairly, fairly even, but he rocks me the one time. And my face is a bloody mess, and his face really is not. He's got a cut underneath his eye, and 
You know, it's telling me I'm doing a good job blocking, but I'm just not blocking well enough. I need to do a little bit more blocking, and we'll be we'll be golden. So he's got that big old cut underneath his left eye. You can barely see it because of the way the camera was, but it's there. Trust me, it's there. So round two, here we go. Another five minutes of fighting, and he's coming out. He's coming out strong. Jorgensen, in the black shorts, of course. Michelle in the white camo shorts. I believe I changed those shorts. Soon, I think I change into some different ones. I don't know which ones. I can't remember. I recorded this and other fights like a month and a half ago, and I can't remember exactly what happens. So anyway, we're coming out. He blocked my takedown attempt, and that's kind of that kind of makes me mad. I mean, that's where Chubbs thrives is ground and pound. Ground and pound is his thing. It's his trademark. He it's like it's just what he does. It's just what he does well, I guess. I mean, he can standing strike, he can box with you all day long, but once he gets on top of you, that is his strong point. And that's what he's going to do. I mean, that's what he wants to do. But Scott Jordanson doing a good job of keeping me out, blocking me out, and really making it kind of uncomfortable for me and my fight style. He wants to stand up and play the punching game. Well, I want to take it down to the mat and go to my ground and pound game and submission work. So, I mean, got some conflicts of interest. Which is a little bit disconcerting. Going for a takedown, and again, we're blocked out. Cannot get that takedown. I don't know what the deal is, but we're just not getting the shots in deep like we need to. Not setting up up like we need to. Uh, we're just not finishing. Typical, typical, typical. All right, we're just under two minutes left in the second round. Nothing really has happened. No ground has been made, other than it's just been a lot of punching. Just some straight up punching by both of us. I mean, I, I attempted a few takedowns. Couldn't get him, sadly, because I think this match would be over if I could get Scott onto the ground. I really do ground and pound, and Chubb's ground and pound was just so good that I think it's untouchable. So I got there. Oh, he fell down. There we go. Here's my shot at my ground and pound work. See if it actually do anything with it. I've been bragging up about how well I think Chubb's is at ground and pound, and I let him up. But, oh, I was running with that punch there. That was cool. It was like a running elbow. All right, now he's getting blocky and throwing some punches now. Can't believe I let that ground and pound opportunity go. I'm all like, yeah, I'm so good on top. I mean, we're going to work this guy if we get on top. And I finally do, and he gets out from underneath. That's a little bit disheartening. But at the end of round two, almost the end of round two anyway, there we go. It's pretty even. Nobody was rocked. So, I mean, Scott, he could actually be winning this fight <clears throat> because he rocked me in the first round. Wouldn't that suck if I went all the way to the decision and ended up getting beat by this guy again? I mean, really. Let's, let's be honest here. We don't want to do that. And it was, it's just not my game plan. We did cut up his other eye. His, both his left and right eye are pretty nasty. The third round, I think this is the last round actually. So it's do or die time for McStubby. He might have lost that first round and maybe tied that second round. So I mean, he's got to win this third round convincingly by points or with the knockout either way it's got to be done and yeah that's what's gonna happen well it's got to happen anyway and it's making me a little bit nervous but he knocked him down again and let's see if it actually works something here that would be great to actually maybe finish this fight off right here oh my gosh like you said I'm tired from school I'm getting old and I can feel it. I'm tired all the time. I'm yawning in these videos. I used, I used to never yawn in these videos because I was nervous. And I never yawn. I must just be comfortable. Or I'm just tired. Maybe I need to go take a nap. That would probably be the best solution. But you know, We've been working the ground and pound nice and easy. You just land in punches when we need to. Land in a few punches. And he's finally got out of it. But we landed a few good punches. Oh! He's out! Scott Jorgensen! He's out! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's over. Chubbs McStudley has knocked out Scott Jorgensen. Look how he throws his body into that. Connects and just puts him to sleep. Perfect technique. Perfect timing. Perfect execution. And a huge victory. And here we see it again. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the king. The king. How's Mick Studley coming out, getting his revenge, beating up on Scott Jorgensen just like Jorgensen did to me. And really in that fight, I thought that I had it won. I haven't seen it recently, but I'm pretty sure... I mean, it was even for a while, but I mean, it was like this one. It was a lot like this fight. Other than, I feel like I should have won it. I don't feel like I should have been knocked out like I was. Oh, excuse me. It's like my fifth yawn in this video. <laughs> sometimes you just can't help it. You just can't help it sometimes. But Yeah, I mean, the first time we fought, I thought that I had him beat. I really did, but I ended up getting knocked out. <laughs> That's kind of funny to say, but it happened, and it sucked. I think it was my first loss. It might have been my second loss. I'm not exactly sure, but I've only lost two. Here we go. 19-2 and two is your record. Knockout of the night, which puts us in contention for knockout of the year. So that would be good. I mean, you got to get a lot of those to get in the Hall of Fame, I think. I don't know how to get in the Hall of Fame in this game, and nobody really does. I've looked it up, and people do different things with their fighters, and they end up going to the Hall of Fame in the end. Anyway. So I'm going to start wrapping this video up. We moved up from 10 to 8. Look, that is great. Our streak is at 6 wins. We are a hot, hot fighter. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and comment telling me that you liked it. A, a like would be great, though. Uh, subscribe if you have not done so already. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.